my hey everyone, I'm Alfred, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, as you can see, my hair is still purple. Because it's only been a few uh, hours, in fact, since I recorded the last one. However, it's unsafe to drink so much, so I have not. Um, I ground for about 10 hours off screen, just because I wanted to get guys up to snuff. And I did. There is a great horror beneath the moon. Uh... A crawling what all about? I can actually show you what I've done. It must be destroyed. I think I didn't kill this one on screen. I don't think I killed him on screen. I know I didn't kill him on screen. I killed the swine god. Yeah, I did siren and alluring crew. Uh, yeah. So these guys were all in my last excursione. Uh, and I think it's time to actually do a fucking real run on Darkest Dungeon. Because I haven't done one yet, and that's the name of the game. And I only recently actually took over 100 hours of playtime. Uh, while we're here, I picked up some districts as well. I got the bank, so I'm always going to have money now. I've had the granary. Um, and I got the puppet theater. So, a lot less stress, a lot more money. Good stuff. Um, these are my guys rank six. Hold on. Let me check to make sure everyone's got good gear. Okay. So yeah. You can't safely get out of a darkest dungeon run. And I'm gonna get all of this. I'm gonna get two of torches. I'm gonna get two of those. Um, I'll get two of these. Honestly, I have the. I'll get three. I have the money. Once again, the stars are right. Um, and the manner. So yeah, I've uh, I've never done a real run on the darkest rest. dungeon, despite the uh, hundreds of hundred of hours I played this game. Just a single hunt. Great gongs. Never before actually done it. Coming sacrifices. Far below, life laden shadows. Um. That said, the, the darkest dungeon riddle. contains a lot of the most of controversial game mechanics in this game. For example, people have to die to kill the final boss. That's you know. That's the a real thing. The fallen flows ever downward along these titan spires. Um, the creature fattens so yeah. itself on your failures. Unless you, unless you do some crazy unintended shit and just rush the boss and fuck it up beyond all recognition, you will not kill the boss without losing people. Well struck. Which can make it hard to beat said boss. The slow yes. death unforeseen. Because at some point in the fight you will need to uh, do one honestly. And then you'll just have to do the rest of the fight without that. Triumph party pride precipitates a dizzying. And that can stop. You're a son of a bitch. Also, is my torchlight draining faster than normal? It might be. It would make sense. I would do that in here. <laughs> you fool. So, here's the other thing. You can't send somebody into the Darkest Dungeon twice. In Radiance, may we find victory. If you put a guy in the Darkest Dungeon, he has to come out with a status effect that makes him permanently afraid of the Darkest Dungeon, and he'll never go in again. So... This team of six guys may as well be dead. They can't do anything besides go into the darkest dungeon now because I've killed almost everything else in the game. And 
then once you know once that's done they, they can't go, they can't go back in their formation is broken maintain the offensive look at that so yeah, this is the team that I think killed Swan God. Um, and it's also just like my best guess. So I'm not sure what I'll do with them once I'm done here. I guess I can throw them into all the other dungeons and just have them get some goodies for me. But yeah, like I don't it, it's really weird because like it means that you don't actually have to keep these guys alive now. Even though we spent so much time getting them to this point. Now who cares? Wow. Tough crowd. What's happening? to fight folders what is happening we've hit one attack this entire there we go one attack the entire round happened a dizzying blow good. to body and brain luckily she can still fight from the back impressive Oh boy. Oh boy. Turn the game audio down a little more. Ooh, getting sweaty and dangerous. Um. Why didn't I do that one thing, you may ask? Well, because I had that. Slowly. I was. I, I am always aching to use Holy Lance because it's an awesome taken. cool move for cool guys. 12. Yeah. Core. Blight. Press this oh, good. Give them no quarter. Am I in a room? I'm not in a room. That that isn't good. Okay, let's poison this guy down. Stop, please. Well, damage around, huh? Okay, that's good at least. Ooh. Sedated. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh boy. Freaking round, huh? Oh, that's it. Still, I'm doing it. I've I've made it to what my third room? Yeah, it's my third room. Yowza. Sorry, I got very scared there for a moment. I just wanna hit this. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. How much do you have? 25 exactly. 
fine by me. Do you have a sickness? No. What about you? No. Oh, we already have this up, so I don't know. Pretty much everyone's religious. Smoking. As the light Man, gains camping purchase, in this place, spirits huh? Are lifted, and purpose is made Gowies clear. Off. Priests. Last time they didn't even get a chance to start. So... Just hoping that they don't get a chance to. There's three of them. I'm gonna have to put up with something here. 107 bleed resist. Oh, that'll that'll blight him. Here it comes. The what now? What is that damage? It's just they're just meat wearing Okay. That's one less source of damage I need to think of. But yeah, they're just tentacles. They're just meat wearing robes. Cool, cool. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Their bleed is still high, so. Light them. Reeling. That About damage is so unreal. Please stop. I don't know how much more of that I can take, fans. How quickly the tide turns. Oh boy. Okay. Good. Good. You could have gotten them both if you weren't. Blossoms. Uh, he can take two of those. She can only take one. Without dropping to zero and hitting death's door, I mean. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'll leave that there. What does this do? I bought it and I don't actually know what it does. I've uh, never used it before. What the hell is this thing? Should I go down this time? The match is struck. Okay. Blazing star is born. I think you need it more because you're front mining. Guard, you say. I have no idea if I should be focusing on anyone here. There's so much danger in this fucking room. As life ebbs. Vistas of emptiness revealed. Am I gonna be able to beat this game? This this just occurred to me, like. Oh my god. There's so much bad shit in here. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Is that 40? That's the cat. Luckily he won't survive.
my man. Yeah, I have no idea what laudanum is for. Isn't it just opium dissolved in alcohol? Because holy shit, hook me up, man. I feel like standard, like, day-to-day -day opium is not gonna hit you as bad as, like, heroin would, you know? Like, I feel like in t today, modern day, a human body could handle opium without, like, combusting. Stack some bleed on him because I feel like he could use the bleeding. Six, six. Fourteen and eight. Yeah. That ain't good. Oh man, come on. Resistance. Oh boy. How much longer is this gonna go? I, I know I, I used my one thing like minutes into the thing. But like, yowza, dude. Oh god. I feel like I just need to get as far as I possibly can. I need to kill a boss. I I just re-looked at that thing. I don't even know what a shuffling horror is. Oh my god, these are my best guys. They're not having a good time of it. Oh. Didn't do any damage, at least. Okay. I feel like you need to get our tanks up. And you know what? That's a that's a fair and adequate use of your powers, good sir. Oh God! Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh yeah, I feel like it bears mentioning that both of these guys have died in the past and came back from the dead due to the random event that'll pick a guy out of your graveyard and give him back to you. like cultist priests are more dangerous. Oh god, I'm getting light headed. You've done nothing to me, sir. I'm gonna just to make sure that you can survive that. Oh boy. Injury. Uh, well, he's going to drop to death door. Set the stage for heroism. Poor cowardice. Well, on the upside, it does uh, res them. Okay. 43. Ah, uh, I need I need him to stay alive at least. Oh God, didn't Jesus. How am I gonna kill a fucking boss at the end of this? Oh my God. How is this possible? I'm not drinking, but maybe I should have been. I mean, strictly speaking. Madness. It shouldn't. I, I shouldn't be drinking because it's been too close to me drinking. Oh, so it has been said. The last time, a few days ago. Um, it makes me so fucking stressful. You, good sir, can survive quite a few scraps. 
Ooh. Yeah, that's the really like useful thing about him. He's got seven. Now he's guaranteed to die next turn. Perfect. Oh, that's dry, huh? Obliterated. Wowzers. Oh my god. He's been his his so like every time he uses that it makes his healing ability go down. And that's been happening time and again. And now a crit heal will only heal him for eight. Success so clearly in view. Oh god. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Neither of them have hit death's door yet. Actually, I think he has. Oh, God. Get my fucking fierce wets are going. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Fuck me. The way is lit. Have I talked the yet enough about how much I fucking we hate random hunger checks? This isn't all of them. Come on, don't. Come on, dude. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A devastating blow. You love to hear that. You love to hear a good devastating blow. I hope the boss is like a victory lap after this. Like, Jesus, man. This this is why I haven't beat Darkest Dungeon. Because this is the hardest dungeon in it, besides the DLC. But every single thing is like the this, you know? Of oblivion. Like, to do the higher level stuff, you have to get higher level guys. And it is... It is difficult and sometimes just demoralizing to have to grind up a new army every single time just so you can take another run at a boss that's been giving you some trouble. I don't even know what you are, my man. He's got a head as a skull. Um... But yeah, like, it, it, it can be really just fucking demoralizing to just try to... Oh, I didn't... That, uh, that could have been bad. I'm gonna move you, uh... You're... You're such a dick. Okay. Oh. Well. Wow. That's perfectly, uh, that's perfectly fine then. Oh, God. There's just so much bleeding in here as well. I hate having to use items. I don't like using items. To be perfectly honest, um... Damn, thanks. You know, I've heard a lot about strange eons. That which is not dead, something, something, yada, yada. Stop hitting her. Oh man, he doesn't even get the heal. Oh god, I'm getting lightheaded and shit. Ugh. That's bad too. That keeps getting worse and worse. <gasps> no! Yep, he was a legendary level 6 hero. How are you gonna dodge that, bro? Mm. A hand's breadth from becoming 
unwound. My God. We're, we have to leave. A decisive pummeling. We have to leave. Foolish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Does it have to be random? Can I pick one? You cannot learn a thing you think. So yeah, even if you, you want to get the fuck out, one has to die, and it was the one I really didn't want to fucking die. God damn it. That was so painful. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Oh, you just want to gamble, right? So, let's come to this. Two. Legendary Hero's dead. Oh yeah, these are all the guys that I sacked off in the Darkest Dungeon earlier. A sister of that Babylon, eases the pain a bit. And unrelenting. Oh yeah, you may see that I'm starting to use a bit more uh, various of people here. Um, hmm. I guess we'll kill the Beguiling Siren then, huh? Who's even going to go on this fucking quest? You don't really have enough people to feel this for real. Okay. Oh, God. Gonna need some more of that one, huh? Would you look at that? That's really convenient. I guess I got that from killing the swine god. I'll put that on you, actually. Oops. Alright. Let's kill us a Siren. I've learned my lesson. I'll buy some of those. So yeah, um, the one thing that is nice is that I am getting to the peer's edge before she could properly appreciate her position. Something I'm sure. I clamped on a manacle, chaining her to the leering idol. I'm getting uh, money back every time I start a quest. And the more I have, the more I get. So 5% of 2,500 is... Wait, plus 0.05%. It feels like it's more than that. I anyway, it means that I'm getting uh, which should be like a hundred gold at least, at least, as long as I have over twenty thousand gold, which I, I think I have for like the entirety of the game. A momentary Cool. So yeah, I don't know, um, just because I, I now have upgraded the recruits. So now I'm just getting guys that are like levels four and five. Actually, I don't think they go up as high as five. But I'm getting people who are like level three or four. 
and I need those guys, so I can no longer be a chooser. If I, goddamn you, have a guy in the in the uh, recruit screen, and he is of an adequate level, I'll just take him. Oh man. Quickly the tide turns. For fuck's sake, look at this bullshit. Like truly now, what was I supposed to do? Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. I just He's gonna die no what no matter. He's gonna die no matter what next turn. Death by inches. Hey, good money though. That ought to take the sting off. Loot. Finding good. the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I'm loath to eat food because I know that a quest like this might require a lot of random hunger checks. Because it is a longer quest. Nothing but trouble, huh? As the light gains purchase. Oh man. I don't I can't remember if I commented on my ooh, the stress tummy ache. I can't wait until I beat this game. I don't know what my next like big roguelike's gonna be. Cause like this is this is the one that I've like worked on like. Fuck you. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Should I have healed? No, oh, these guys aren't so bad. I say they aren't so bad. Gonna be a lot of that. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. For God's sake. Don't do this. Why can't you hit anything, bro? You're dealing more damage to guys. And now the true test. Just that one little thing at the very start of this mission just fucked up everything. You missed two swings in a row on that one guy, and then bam. The abyss returns, even the boldest. Everything after that just it all went to fucking shit. It might be better to just quit this quest. I'm gonna try to kill these guys, I guess. Yeah, I love that. I love being able to miss twice as many guys. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Whatever. Who fucking cares at this point? Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge into madness. Fine. Fuck you too. You're such an asshole. I hope you get killed. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss.
Bring it on. See, this literally all spiraled down from that one fucking guy at the very, very start of all of this. If you, if you, Osmond, hadn't missed two little swings, we wouldn't be here. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Can I get out of here? Soaks the Perfect. Soil, feeding the evil therein. Well, that's good at least. That'll help me kill guys. You couldn't even. Come on. Survival is a tenuous proposition in this sprawling tomb. And because I was too afraid to eat any food because of this game's stupid hunger mechanics, everyone was on low health. Misplays to be sure, but the game isn't fucking fair to begin with. How much of it can be my fault? Truly now. And yet I'm going to buy Darkest Dungeon 2 as soon as I can. Why does he keep passing? Is he taking pity on me? I love using Rake because every time you deal damage with it, it does more damage than the last time you used it. I don't know if you saw, but it has a little thing on it. That makes it so whenever you do damage, it increases its own damage. It's really fucking useful. Rick is doing that much more damage. Well, with how this game rounds up in its um, calculations, usually. Of course, it might round down for the player. Because, um, you know, fuck you, right? It may as well be doing double damage now. I don't know how high it can actually go because I think in the time it takes to get to 66, one of the procs will have expired. Yeah, there you go, see? It was up and then it went back down. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. He was. He could have been fine. I should have eaten, and you shouldn't have missed your fucking things. He wouldn't have hit him anyway. Kill him. Thank this you. There's no place for the weak or foolhardy. All right, give me, give me back in. To be tended. Lessons to be learned. Fuck you, Wayne June. Windows and doors will be bolted. Oh, I don't care that all the stress Tonight, activities are less useful. Something haunts the dark. Nobody's stressed. They're all fucking dead. Can I have some more meat to throw on the fire. Thank you. She searches where others take these will guys, not honestly. go, and sees what others will not see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we got this guy as well. You know, actually, I'm going to go into here. Oops. 
Right. Now, actually, I've got this thing that I'm going to have to deal with at some point. Because he's stolen a lot of my shit from me. Because this game is fair. See, for some people, the lack of fairness that this game has is part of the appeal. And I understand that. It does make sense that fighting against bigger odds, worse odds for you, would mean that success is more satisfactory. But the path to getting there is so frustrating sometimes that upon actually getting a modicum of success, sometimes you just feel upset that it took that long to begin with. Excise the fungal tumors. Like, yeah, the good, thanks for live. finally doing that, you know? You're frustrated. I should take more shovels. Your frustration with it is just... Like, it, it's not even that it's... I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Weird. The ground quakes. But yeah, at, at some point, it doesn't A brilliant become satisfying. And and purpose. So the weird thing about the occultist is that, like, he's supposed to be a healer. Continually onslaught. And he has this thing that can heal anywhere from zero to 19 hit points, which is way more than, like, the 10-ish that you can rely on the Vestal. But the thing is, um, the Vestal will reliably always have that, like, 6 to 7 heal that she's always going to do. You know? So you can always have that much heal to rely on. Whereas this does anywhere and has a very high chance to make somebody bleed. So her health's full, but she's bleeding now. Slime Smack. That's funny. It's a cute name. I don't know if we've talked about the Jester at all, but his mechanic is that um, he has this, he's one of the only people that can uh, do anything related to stress to begin with. But what's more, um, almost all of his moves upgrade the power of one of his moves called, fuck you, how dare you. Monstrous one of his moves called no Finale, which is this. Unless and it sends them all the way back to back. Be considered a virgin. But it does a lot of damage, and everything you do will buff the damage. And the buff can last for quite a while. So yeah, if they resist the, um, the bleed, then like all the better. But it's not quite likely that that'll happen. Foolish horrors, fraught low and driven into the mud. Yeah, I love the jester. I initially didn't use him because I was going for a very specific theme, but that's a little untenable to keep up by now. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Get some launch. This guy's kind of a problem. He just has a lot of health, as you can see. See, all of his moves will put... Like, will just give Finale more damage. Right. Can't hit her. 
Luckily, it looks like she's not going to have the chance to do more than one turn of anything. Yeah, she'll die in two. Such a terrible assault cannot be left yeah, The occultist is, you know, most likely based off of a Cthulhu Mythos character. One man named Abdul al Hazrat, which, you know, as you can tell by the name, is probably Middle Eastern. The slow death. Such as Lovecraft understood things like that. Unforgiving. Uh. And he's the Mad Monk, and relevant to you is he's the man who wrote the, Necromo uh, the Necronomicon. Let's see if I can put some better moves on him. Word reconstruction is good and all, but he can only do so much from the back. I don't truly rightly know why he's specced that way. 60? We'll get one more round in. Little shuffle. Oh God! Speaking of shuffles. Cool. Oh, that's risky. A victory. Fuck yeah, my man. The turning point. All right, this whole party's been flipped and turned upside down. Why did fattened corpse? We've cleaned it. Good. Okay, this can only work from there. That works from everywhere. And that only works on the back. We'll leave that in. Oh, actually. There we go. Now he can continue to sit from the back. And just soak it in. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go for a more, um, like, classic, uh, roguelike for my next, for my next one that I'm just going to keep grinding on. Um, I beat Strife. I mean, I guess you would have seen. Uh, and if you didn't, I, I put my successful, uh, my successful attempt on Strife in the first episode of my playthrough of Quake. Cause I am dude, thank you. Pardon. Cause I was like, that makes sense. Strafe is nothing without Quake. So you may as well, and you may as well link that. Press this advantage, give them no quarter. Oh man, show me a tunnel. Damn. Hoping to get the hell out of here. So yeah, the antiquary... Oh, my wife's calling me. Alright, wife call complete. And I've done this quest. Um, I gotta say, it wasn't very exciting besides the stuff you already saw. It was just going around and doing stuff. The hardest part of it was on screen. <laughs> Ooh, more wheel goodies. So where is everyone? Let us press on. So yeah, I need to kill Necromancer Lord and the Gibbering Prophet. I need to kill two more hags and two more brigand 12 pounders. I need to kill the formless flesh. I almost did this one. Damn nation. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Um, I, I don't even know what I'm going to fucking do now. I guess I'll grind off screen some more. Um, 
Yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been uh, technically Drunkest Dungeon, but it's been too close to the last time, so I'm not drinking. But I have been drinking. But I won't anymore. Um, maybe in a bit again. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Everyone have a good day. See ya.